Now, in late September of 2021, there was an article that talked about researchers from Parabon Nanolabs, a Virginia-based DNA technology company, have created 3D reconstructions of the faces of three men uh, that supposedly lived in ancient Egypt after processing DNA samples from mummies. Now, we know that there are biases in facial recognition software. So wouldn't there be bias in DNA facial reconstruction software? According to some researchers, facial recognition technologies falsely identify black and Asian faces 10 to 100 times more often than they did white faces. The mummified men named JK2134 and JK2888 and JK2911 are estimated to be between 2,000 and 2,800 years old. They come from Abasur El Malik, I butchered that name, I'm sure, an ancient Nile uh, River community in Egypt. JK2134 is thought to date back from 776 to 569 BC, and JK2888 is estimated to be from 97 to 2 BC, while JK2911 is from approximately 769 to 560 BC. Now, let's just say for a minute that the technology is accurate. Now, bear in mind, you can program technology the way you want. I'll expose you to a type of game that they can play with this. Now, there's a lot of people um, in ancient Egypt that passed through ancient Egypt in the later years. So those people could indeed be Egyptians because they lived and died there, like people coming to America. You know, there's a, it's a melting pot. Now, we know there are dishonest people in the world. So what if they are taking DNA from mummies that somewhat resemble the people presently in Egypt and ignoring the black Egyptian mummies? For example, in an alternate timeline, let's say black people are running America and there was an ancient civilization in America and they dig up mummies, but they know that most of the mummies are Caucasian and some are black people but they only sample the black people and ignore the Caucasian mummies. Do you understand? So they, they can say, yeah, it was a black civilization back in the day and this is what they look like, blah, 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 but really it wasn't. So they were there, black people were there, but it was mainly run by Caucasians. So this is, this is what you could run into. That is the kind of games that they can play uh, with this. I do not trust these people at all because for the longest time, it was outsiders that were dictating the information about African history and culture and not letting Africans say anything about their history and culture. They don't let Africans speak up because they will contradict practically everything that they say, especially if you know about the 1974 UNESCO conference where two Africans obliterated 18 Eurocentric Egyptologists. Like they don't want to go through that at all. So if we could challenge them openly, we can make them look foolish because they say a lot of erroneous things about African history and culture. And we remember all the things that they said and done.